A peninsula in the far north of Scotland is to become the UK's first spaceport. The site in Sutherland will be used to launch rockets vertically to put satellites into orbit. It's hoped the first launch from there could take place in under three years. The announcement is part of a £30 million government plan to help establish space sports in the UK. Our science correspondent Victoria Gill has more. Blasting off soon from our shores. In as little as three years, rockets like this will be launched from a remote stretch of land on the north coast of Scotland. The Amoyne Peninsula in Sutherland has been chosen by the UK Space Agency as the best place from which to launch rockets that will put commercial satellites into orbit. The UK Space Agency will contribute two and a half million pounds towards a development that British engineers say will be a genuine boost for the country. It will save uh, cost, for example, in having to export satellites to other countries to launch them. It will make it easier logistically uh, for launching from our own shores, say from, from the north coast of Scotland or somewhere. Um, and, uh, you know, th that will take cost out of um, the, the satellite program, so it, it may enable more spacecraft to be built and launched. And while rockets blast off vertically from Scotland, another type of spaceport could be developed at the opposite end of the UK. Newquay Airport could host what's called a horizontal launch site. At the Farnborough Air Show today, Cornwall Council signed an agreement with Richard Branson's Virgin Orbit. This means that the company's adapted passenger jet could eventually take off from Newquay and climb to altitude over the ocean to release its rocket and put a satellite into orbit. The commercial space sector is growing, partly because the satellite technology is shrinking it's now possible to fit a great deal of communications, GPS and weather monitoring capability inside a relatively small box. And smaller satellites can be lifted by smaller rockets, a development that's made these new, modest spaceports a possibility. So two coastal sites could boldly take the country another step into the commercial space age. Victoria Gill, BBC News.